In this video, I'm gonna give you three different orders at Chipotle that can be good options if you're trying to lose weight. One taco order, one burrito bowl order, and a burrito order. So feel free to save this video if you eat Chipotle often, or if you're on the go a lot and you wanna make sure you have an effective go-to meal that you can eat out. And if you're new here, welcome to the video, welcome to my channel. My name is Jesse and I'm a personal trainer and an online coach based in New York. I really hope you like the video and if you do, consider subscribing subscribing because I make new videos just like this every single week. So let's get into it. The first order is going to be a burrito bowl. So for this first order, I'm going to show you a burrito bowl, which is going to be the most calorie friendly out of these three options that you can get at Chipotle. What you're seeing here is the Chipotle nutrition calculator, which you can go to right online. And I'm going to show you exactly what toppings I get in this burrito bowl and what the final calories and macros come out to. So let's select on the left here burrito bowl and from there we can select all of our toppings so I'm gonna select chicken because that is the leanest option of the proteins here going to go with white rice here now again you can adjust these if you don't want rice you don't need to get it but I do like getting rice because it does make the meal more filling you can go with white or brown the macros are pretty much the same the calories are pretty much the same I'm not gonna go with beans here for two reasons number one I don't like beans so why would I eat them number two is they are a more calorie dense topping out of the options here. Now, maybe you'll get a little bit of fiber from it as well, but in my opinion, it's one of the higher, not in my opinion, but factually, it's one of the higher calorie toppings here. I'm gonna pass on guac because that is the highest calorie topping. And if we're trying to lose weight, we wanna look for areas to save some calories. So I'll add the tomato salsa, only 25 calories. I'll add the corn. I'm going to skip over these, skip over the sour cream. I'm gonna add the fajita veggies. I'm gonna skip over the cheese as well and I'm gonna add the lettuce right so there we go a nice bowl with rice with lettuce with vegetables with corn with salsa and those are the exact toppings I would go with for this burrito bowl and as you can see here it comes out to 520 calories for a meal if you're having lunch or dinner that's a good range to be in if you're trying to lose weight you don't want to go too much lower than 500 calories in a meal because how long is that really gonna keep you full right probably not too long but yet it's not a super high calorie meal so 520 calories only 13 fat 40 grams of protein really solid and 66 carbs now for the second order I'm gonna show you it's for the tacos and the calories and macros are very similar to option number one the burrito bowl so you can go with whichever one you prefer all right so now I'm gonna show you order number two which is the tacos and the taco meal I'm gonna select pretty much the same toppings as I did for the burrito bowl with one small change in there so it's a little bit more calories because of the tortillas with the tacos but let's go here and scroll down select tacos for reference if you haven't gotten tacos before from chipotle you get three of them right so we're going for three total tacos here i'm gonna select chicken again because it is the leanest option with the most amount of protein and then i'm going to go with soft tortillas now the crispy here you save 50 calories by going with the crispy so if you prefer that go with that i'm just doing this realistically if i was ordering it I very much prefer the soft tacos to the hard ones. So for me, I'd rather use an extra 50 calories to make it 10%, 20% more enjoyable. So that's what I'm going with. Again, you don't have to do that. So for this one, I'm actually leaving out the rice. I'm gonna click no rice. And the reason for that is because I'm using those carbs on the tortilla, about 40 grams of carbs in those three tacos, whereas the rice is usually around 40 grams of carbs right here. But also if you're adding rice to these, there's very small tacos, it takes takes up a lot of room and it's almost a little inconvenient. You can't fit much else into the taco. So that's why I'm skipping on the rice. I'm skipping on the beans again for the reasons I mentioned before. I'm skipping the guac. I am going to add the salsa. I am going to add the corn and I'm going to add the fajita veggies and the lettuce. All right. So all the other toppings are the same. I'm just leaving out the rice. And as you can see up here, it comes to 560 calories. So just a little bit more than the burrito bowl, 17 fat, 43 protein and 66 carbs. Again, these, this is a very similar meal to the burrito bowl. So you can go with whichever option you prefer more, whichever one keeps you more full or that you like the taste of better. Now let's show you order number three, which is a burrito. So now I'll show you how to structure a burrito meal if you're getting that from Chipotle and you're trying to lose weight to make it somewhat calorie friendly. So here in the nutrition calculator or wherever you're ordering, you're gonna click on burrito, obviously. So if you see the tortilla here, about 320 calories on its own. 
150 grams of carbs. So it is naturally gonna be a higher calorie meal compared to the burrito bowl, all right? So I'm gonna go with chicken. I'm going to skip the rice for the same reason that I did with the tacos in that, you know, the tortilla itself is using up a lot of carbs and I'm gonna save some carbs by not using rice. But also often if you add rice to the burrito, it gets really populated, really stuffed, and sometimes it can be harder to eat. Now, let me be very clear. If I'm not using any of these toppings that you really want to use, it's not the end of the world. You can go ahead. If you really prefer rice, just go ahead and add rice, right? It's not going to be the worst thing to add an extra 200 calories to this meal. It's already a pretty calorie friendly meal. Or if you want to eliminate some of the toppings I'm using and then add in one of your own or something like that, that's the good thing about tracking your food is that you can prioritize the foods and ingredients that really you enjoy and you prefer. So while I'm not adding beans again, because I don't like beans, you may love beans and you may want to make room for those extra 130 calories. And maybe because of that, instead of making it a burrito, you make it a bowl or something like that to make it more calorie friendly. But all of this stuff is interchangeable. I'm just showing you exactly what I would order or what I would recommend for someone trying to lose weight who's ordering from Chipotle. Okay, so I'm skipping the beans and I'm using the same salsa. I'm using corn. I'm using fajita veggies and lettuce. And again, if you really want to add cheese, that's fine. Many times I find myself adding cheese or adding sour cream, usually not both, right? These are the higher calorie toppings, but sometimes to me it's worth it or I have more calories left over for dinner than I might have thought and I add some cheese to it or I add some sour cream to it. You know, these are not hard rules here. So this is what the burrito looks like, 630 calories, so a little bit more. Still not what I would consider a high calorie meal. 18 fat, 44 protein, and 76 carbs. Now, the last thing I'll say here is that what I often find myself doing as well is doing uh, double chicken. So here you would select double, and all of a sudden you've doubled the amount of protein in the burrito or in the burrito bowl, right? You've now got 76 grams of protein instead of 40. So if you're low on protein or if you're looking to increase your protein intake for not too many calories in return, right? It only bumped up the calories to 810. This may be a good option for you as well. But typically what I find is that using double chicken is best for the burrito bowl rather than the burrito or the tacos for the same reason, as I mentioned before, that it just gets too populated and it's harder to eat. And there you go, three options for eating out at Chipotle that are all calorie friendly if you're trying to lose weight. If you like the video, consider subscribing to my channel, give the video a thumbs up. And if you wanna connect with me, I've got some links in the description of this video where you can connect with me on social media or you can apply to have me coach you through my Modern Man coaching program. And you'll also find a bunch of free resources that I think could really help you with your fitness, your nutrition, and reaching your goals. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.